exponential equations show that 5 to the power of 2x plus 5 to the power of x plus 1 divided by 5 to the power of x plus 5 is equals to 5 to the power of x is kind of an identity. So we need to prove that the left side is equals to right side. Now to do this what we can do is we can factor common terms from numerator and denominator. 5 to the power of 2x plus 5 to the power of x plus 1. Now 5 to the power of x plus 1 can be written as 5 to the power of x times 5. That is 5 to the power of x plus 1. In the denominator we have 5 to the power of x plus 5. Right. So let's start with the left side and then try to prove if it is equal to the right side. Now in this case we can take 5 to the power of x common. Right. So we have 5 to the power of x common. We are left with 5 to the power of x from the first term plus 5 from the next term, right? And in the denominator, we have 5 to the power of x plus 5. And now, we can cancel out 5 to the power of x plus 5, correct? These are common factors in numerator and denominator. And so we do get 5 to the power of x, which is equals to the right side. And therefore, we can say, well, left side and right side are always equal, right? Now, I hope you understand how we did it, right? Let me explain you the very first step. 5 to the power of 2x could also be written as 5 to the power of x and then square, kind of. Do you see that? Or it could be also written as 5 to the power of x times 5 to the power of x. Do you see that? So when we take one of these factor, one of these out, we get one insights. Correct? So that is how we got this factored because I found some students may have confusion at this stage. I hope now that's absolutely clear. So I just wrote it again and 5 to the power x plus 1 really means 5 to the power of x times 5 to the power of 1. Then you add them up, you get 5 to the power of x plus 1, right? So these two are equivalent expressions. So that's how I wrote this one, right? Now you can factor 5 to the power of x and c for yourself that one of the factors cancel out so you're left with 5 to the power of x. So that is how you can show that the left side is equal to right side. Thank you.